All right, I'm back. Um, for some reason, my screen froze up on my laptop, so I don't know why <laughs> or do I. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm <clears throat> sorry, everybody, but here I am again. I'm on my camera, and this is obviously a better way to go about it. Um, so I'm just going to repeat. I'm just going to repeat um, the message from Jesus, um, which is to remember that when you see the chaos through the media outlets, such as the news, that this is but a seeming reality, a game if you like. All of this is but a seeming reality. So um, Jesus is suggesting that you please remember this like this is a movie or a TV screen, and to please um, uh, focus your attentions on uh, reading material, such as A Course in Miracles, and also uh, The Disappearance of the Universe by Gary Renard, with the second uh, book that he wrote after that, Your Immortal Reality. So, um, that's what Jesus would like to recommend for everyone to read. Uh, Eric is here from Channeling Eric on YouTube. Eric with a K. He's fist bumping. Um, he says <clears throat> he would like to second that. He says when you focus on A Course in Miracles every day, if, if uh, possible. Also the disappearance of the universe, he says. Um, he's going like this. He's like, Pfft. he's like, you realize that this is all but a seeming temporary reality in which you are living in to learn and grow, um, and to experience temporarily. Um, Eric's also saying that, uh, many of us have our blinders on. Okay, and um, <clears throat> so we see what we see, we hear what we hear, we feel what we feel, and we know what we know, which is very limited. And over uh, these next coming months, many of you will begin to slowly, uh, gently have these blinders um, uh, lifted. Um, what does that mean? It means that you will be able to see more clearly uh, what is really transpiring here uh, on the earth plane in this seeming reality. Go read the books. Go read the books, Eric's saying. Okay. Seriously? The message is told you again, Kevin, okay? Okay, I think we got that. Okay, Jesus is just laughing. All right, so we got that message through again, and now we're going back to Eric. Are we going back to Eric? Yes, we are. Okay. <laughs> okay, so, <clears throat> um, yeah, um, he's ready to answer the questions from the peeps. And Crystalline, you are the first person up if you'd like to type your question. We're going to aim for about 20 people, I'd say. And then uh, we're going to do the best we can to um, get as many people's questions answered. What is your specific question, Crystalline? Ready? So if you have a question, uh, type me, please, or me too. Um, and uh, Gwen will put you in the list in the lineup. Um, and uh, and try to be patient with Gwen because I know it's tricky. <coughs> Did you hear, see that? <laughs> he said something and then he says, don't say that. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I am but the messenger. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Uh, Jesus says later, later. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm trying not to laugh. Okay, ready. Um, so, Crystalline, your question is? Waiting. Um, while we're waiting, 
for Kristen Lynn's question. Uh, Eric wants to discuss uh, 2021. Super important time. Um, really, he says it's important now, even leaning up, <laughs> even leaning up until 2021 is really important. Um, why? Because my main man, my big bro JC, is returning with his team of angels here upon the earth plane. Oh, and they are coming. They are coming. And all the energies here on the earth know this. He says, uh, he's laughing. Okay, Chris Lynn, we're ready for your question, your specific question. Um, he's saying, uh, it's, he, Eric's laughing. He's like, it's almost like the inhabitants of earth, the human beings are like, so a lot of them are like the last ones to know that this is happening. That's why Eric is um, uh, passing along this message to everybody that Jesus is returning um, vibrationally, energetically. And that this is a wonderful time, a wonderful time on the earth plane with this return of Jesus. All right, what is going on with my abundance? What do I need to shift to? Well, first thing Eric's saying is the abundance book. That's the first thing by John Price. Um, you need the abundance book because uh, this up here uh, needs, this is like an old tape pattern. Um, and until this changes, this old tape pattern of, uh, you know, uh, beliefs, uh, also uh, fears, old fears that are repeated, um, or la and or lack thinking or thoughts. Um, until this is shifted or uh, redirected, uh, and the only way that that can happen is by doing the abundance book, uh, then uh, you will keep manifesting the same thoughts. Mm-hmm. Um, he's saying thoughts are thought forms in which are sent out <clears throat> and the universe does not distinguish between this thought or that thought. It's just, okay, well, that's, and then you just basically manifest in that which you are thinking. Um, although Eric says that you manifest uh, low vibrational thinking and thoughts at a slower pace than high vibrational ones. The Abundance Book. Thank you, Kristen. Okay. Um, okay, so who is next? We have uh, Kellyanne, you are next. Yeah, it really does work. I've done the abundance book three times and I've seen, I, I've seen things unfold in my life that I can't explain other than saying, okay, what would we deem this as like a miracle? <laughs> and I'm, I'm okay to say that because that's exactly what it was. I've seen things unfold that are incredible. Um, so if you want abundance in your life, you are looking for the abundance book because it's, it's all good and well to do the affirmations and to say this, that, and the other. But until you really change this entrenched thinking, uh, then you know, you're know you just gonna keep repeating the same things that you're manifesting. Your thoughts create your reality. You are manifesting that which you think. All right, so here we are with Kellyanne's question. I was wondering uh, what I'm supposed to do to be doing right now. I feel like I'm waiting for something. I've kind of felt this way too, Kellyanne. It's kind of a lull feeling, like a rest period, decompression time. Um, you know, when things get up and going, then that's great. And then you, it's like the, the more... Um, there, so when you have action... You, you take action and then there's a rest time, right? So that's really important to have a rest and then you, it's an ebb and flow, ebb and flow. So uh, any ideas there for Kellyanne? Uh, Eric says that's correct. Um, this is a, um, a lull or a, uh, a, period of, a period that is flat energetically, but it's meant to be this way right now. So, um, Right now, Eric's describing it as um, a time that is uh, quiet, still, peaceful, restful, lots of sleep, self-care, uh, self-love. This is what this period is for until, until the middle of May. Uh, Eric's also saying that many of you will begin your path of ascension 
and that's going to be taking place in the beginning of May, like May 1st onwards. Um, and so it's really important that when you begin ascending and anchoring the light more and more that you rest and ground yourselves often. Uh, how do you ground yourselves? You go out into nature, you have sea salt baths or Epsom salt baths, you speak with the earth and ask her to ground you, you lean up or hug a tree, you um, can do grounding techniques that are available in the group under the videos section that Rebecca has um, offered. Highly recommend watching those videos and those can be uh, easily accessed by your laptop or computer. It seems that people are having a little bit of a difficult time through their phone accessing those videos. But grounding is so important when you are ascending. Otherwise, your ascension symptoms are can be um, intense. Um, ascension symptoms are anxiety, ha uh, feel uh, kind of like heart palpitations or um, picking up your body's in a little bit of a flight or fight mode uh, with this energy anchoring within it and <clears throat> nausea, lightheadedness, spaciness, um, irritation. Uh, you can even have uh, muscle spasms, um, uh, muscle and joint aches. So it's really important to ground yourselves. Also tapping, if you have, go onto YouTube and find tapping videos, it's okay to allow this light and love to flow into my body. It's okay, it's okay. You do a, a couple rounds of that and just let your body know it's okay, it's okay. Allow this light and love into your body. The other thing you can do is say, you know, God, angels, whoever you want to talk to, angels, uh, this nausea is a bit too much for me right now. Could you like ease it off, please? And they'll just back it up. Or if you're having a lot of headaches or migraines, you're having that conversation too. Um, a lot of people are having sleep difficulties recently. Um, and I'm noticing a lot of people are... Uh, having dreams that are so intense and they wake up at like 3 a.m. or 2 a.m. and they're having these dreams that are just so immense and so what that is and um, I'll just let them go ahead and answer that you're getting these energy surges of source light and love within your body primarily through your crown chakra your heart chakra and your solar chakra and when this is occurring it's in the evenings when you're sleeping your mind what in your sleep state is um, overactive um, this these energy surges are coming in and so these dreams are very intense um, although Eric says some of you are purging um, during your sleep state as well okay purging what does that mean it means um, that which is no longer needed uh, old beliefs old thought forms low vibrational or dense um, uh, dense kind of vibrational energy it's just going to come to the surface and get transmuted into the light because um, anything low vibrational is just not needed um, as you ascend it's, it needs to just come up and out and transmute into the light and then more light can anchor and come forth within you let me tell you ascension symptoms are a bit tough but I have to say that um, ascending has been wonderful blissful, high vibrational. It is the path in which I highly recommend for everyone. It's been wonderful. Okay, so um, I'm just ready for the next person, Gwen, if you want to type the name and if they have their question, if they could just pop that up. Um, Eric just wants to go back to 2021 again. He says, all of y'all are going to be ascending, okay? But when JC and his team of angels return back to the, uh, uh, come and envelop the globe with his team of angels, it is going to be epic uh, in monumental uh, proportions. Um, Eric says, if we all know, if we all knew how epic this was going to be, we would be out, outside dancing in the streets naked. No, not naked. <laughs> you can go ahead and dance naked, Eric. I'm not dancing naked. But basically, that's how epic this, he's laughing. He, this is how epic this is going to be. How high vibrational this is going to be. 
you know, uh, I knew Jesus started to ascend, uh, or sorry, descend and envelop the planet here energetically, vibrationally last summer. It started in the middle of 2017. And let me tell you, I knew because the light was brighter and I was enjoying music more and there were just some, um, well, he was communicating with me more. That was another reason. And he was letting me know that this is what was happening. Uh, so it was just like awesome. You just felt better. You felt wonderful. Um, and it's just increasingly been, been that way. Ever, ever since the middle of 2017, I would wake up in the morning. I wouldn't need as much uh, sleep, and he would be chatting with me. It was wonderful. Okay, so we're looking for Laura. Where are you, Laura? Um, oh, there you are. Hello, I would like to know what Eric was doing before coming to hang out with us today. No kidding. What were you doing? He says, I was getting prepared for this. He's acting as if he has a notebook in hand and some spectacles on, some glass, he's calling them spectacles or glasses, and he's like taking notes and he was getting ready for this moment here with all y'all. He says, if they really knew what I was doing, they wouldn't be able to handle it. <laughs> oh my God, he's so funny. Oh my God, so hilarious. Um, <laughs> he says, you know, your soul is an om omnipresent being of light and love. So what does that mean? There's no time space constraints. You can be here. You can be there. You can be anywhere you want to be. You can be in multiple places. Mm. And so for your human brains, your human minds to wrap around or grasp, uh, what I am doing over here. Uh, would be a bit too much for you. So I'm taking notes with my spectacles on. <laughs> oh gosh, you are cracking me up. Okay, Parker, we're ready for your question. Oh, it's like Eric knows you, Parker. Do you talk to Eric? Yeah, yeah. It's like he knows you. Cool. So Parker, whenever you're ready... <laughs> <laughs> it's go time. Um, okay, so while we're waiting for Parker's question, um, Eric's coming right back to 2021 again because um, this is going to be called the golden age, the age in which um, <clears throat> will be coined and termed as the golden age because uh, Jesus' return with his angels um will be so significant here on the planet and everyone will know of it that we will call it the golden age and also uh in conjunction with uh alongside uh this will also be the age of ascension mm, the time of ascension uh the time in which he says uh humanity came as far into the dark as it could possibly go and with ascension, we are now just turning back towards the light. And each of all y'all light workers, you are all the way showers. You are all the ones, the front runners, helping those um, from the darkness uh, and bringing them into the light. The light being ascension, the ascension of um, God, light and love within your bodies and light bodies. Okay, so any message for Parker? I saw that question. He knows you, Parker, really well. He's giving you a fist bump. He's calling you his bro too. He says, you know I've got your back. He's saying, please continue with these healings that you have been receiving. You need a few more. He's saying, um, he knows what you're thinking. Um, money, money is needed. Uh, so he's recommending the abundance book for you. Now he's saying, go on, Kristen, tell, tell him about the abundance book. Well, best $8 I ever spent. The abundance book by John, uh, John Price. So that's what he's recommending for you. Um, he's saying, 
Yeah, he, he wants me to tell you what has happened with me when I did the Abundance book. I was offered a house sit in like a multi-million dollar uh, house across the street from my aunt's home. And this house sit was on the ocean and is wonderful. And I, I lived there for rent free uh, for 13 months. So abundance can come in different forms, right? I mean, is it me, does it have to come with somebody handing you money? No, because it can come in a way in which um, you can have a house sit for free rent for a year. That's an, a, a way of abundance. The other way is um, I was having mechanical issues with my car and uh, I, asked, I asked for help with that. And then um, did I expect that this woman would ram me into the curb with her uh, SUV? No. I totaled off my car, got a big fat check in the mail. I knew Jesus was in the passenger side with me and I knew everything was going to be all right. Did I think abundance would come in the form of uh, having a small car accident with a police officer behind me in the van watching the whole thing as the ideal witness? No, I didn't think any of that would happen. But I'll tell you this, when you ask for help, expect the help in unexpected ways. The how isn't up to me, it's up to them. So Jesus lined that one up, that was really cool. Um, <clears throat> Okay, so I think we have uh, Kevin who is next. Go ahead, Kevin, with your question. Um, um, Eric's showing 2021 with gold, just lots of gold. Gold, beautiful golden rays of light. Um, just embedding and imbuing every aspect of the planet. Okay, does Eric have anything he would like to tell me about my life in the future to come? Oh, yeah, he says. Oh, yeah. He's covering both my ears now. It's like the stillness. He's cupped both my ears so I can hear very clearly. He's saying, It is, it is an honor to be able to work with you by your side. Kevin, it is an honor. You, me, JC, what a combo this will be. What a combo this will be. He says that um, many of you, including Kevin, you can't imagine how magnificent your futures are uh, uh, ahead and will be for each of you. How many, many people you will help, beings of light and love here on the earth plane. This is just going to be such a wonderful time, he says. He's really looking forward to it. He says it's an honor to work by your side, Kevin. And he really looks forward to it. He says we're going to have a lot of fun together. You, me, and my big bro, JC. You and me and my big bro, JC. Amen. He's also saying, he's showing me three weeks. Three weeks, Kevin. Three weeks. Three weeks. Wow, he just really cupped my ears and my head there. He said he's stepping back now. <laughs> okay, so uh, who's next on the list? Woohoo! Um, <laughs> Eric's going right back. <clears throat> okay, so we're just looking for the next person there, Gwen. If you could line it up, uh, that'd be great. And uh, the next question. Um, <laughs> Rena, me, me, me. Woohoo. Um, <clears throat> okay. Whew. I'm just going to ask Eric to step back from me a bit. Oh. Kelly, you're next with your question. Here it is. What is the point of the depression I have had for what seems my whole life? Will this TMS therapy help me? Uh, Eric is conferring with Jesus on what to relay here. Okay. So, <clears throat> it's hard maybe to digest this just like it was when I heard it about my colitis when I was sick. 
for eight years and then had two surgeries, had my bowel taken out, had a poopy bag for a year. That was a fun time. And then I had my body re-hooked back up with a J pouch. Uh, most people don't know what that means. You can Google that if you want. Um, so my soul knew all that was going to happen. It signed up for this heavy duty life. Um, uh, heavy duty in the sense of suffering because in suffering there is contrast and, and growth and um, <laughs> Eric's saying that you also signed up for this uh, a soul doesn't come to earth uh, for <laughs> Eric's saying cupcakes rainbows and uh, and unicorns okay um, it, it's, it's and flowers they a soul comes to earth in order to um, learn and grow at a significant pace uh, and potentially not always he says with uh, quite a bit of suffering in a dense vibrational environment so needless to say he says um, not many souls are like pick me for earth pick me <laughs> but the ones who do come to earth and choose this path of coming to earth uh, they are the brave ones they are the brave ones and he's saying, um, with you, your soul knew that this would be the path ahead of you with this depression. Now, will TMS help? That's the next question there, Eric. He's doing this, so I'm asking him, what does that mean? It will, however, I have a suggestion for another path for you, okay? I want to make sure I get this hold on he says ask Jesus for help with your depression that's it you ask Jesus to help you with your depression this is the main man miracle worker here also Eric saying It would be good for you, he's saying, to have a healing done, an angelic Reiki healing done. Um, he says similar or like Charlie Goldsmith, um, different healing modalities, however, still equally as potent as uh, Kevin Morris, the healer, um, which you can find in this group. And also you can locate him on YouTube under Kevin Morris the healer thank you uh, this way the angelic realm will be able to come forth and heal you in ways in which are greatly needed at this time thank you okay so next question Asiome oh hi Annika so nice to see you here Okay, that's awesome, Rena. Can you believe I didn't even want to work with Jesus in the beginning? Because I was like, I ain't religious, and I don't have. I'm just not interested. wasn't interested. Um, I was spiritual. I would talk with the angels. That was no problem. Um, but when Jesus came around, I was like, not interested. And look at me now. Thank gosh, I am working with him. Uh, best thing I ever decided to do was ask Jesus for help. Let me tell you that best thing ever okay hi Christy love and light um, that's okay okay so who is okay so we got Gerald Ann what do I need to do know for my highest good purpose right now uh, rest and relax ebb and flow as Eric had said previously this is just a time of rest and relaxation. Um, taking it easy. Um, Eric says, you know, you're anchoring the light within your body. And so that's, that's a lot. You, you know, you're going to anchor, you're going to have these waves, ascension waves that will last five to seven days. And um, you're just coming off the uh, he says you're coming off the tail end of a full month 
and so it's important to rest right now before the next one comes. Um, and that next one is going to come when, Eric? At the last week of May. The last week of May is your next one. So just relax. He says that's hard for you to do. He says he knows. Uh, but uh, this is really important too. Um, uh, it's important to, to be able to turn on and go and then turn off and relax. If you can do this, if you can get this figured out in life, you are well ahead of the pack, he says. You've got it figured out because you can't do light working and you can't walk this path unless you have enough ample rest as well. All right. Okay, so I think we have um, Jacqueline next, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, you know, often when Jesus encompasses me, I'll just start crying. Um, I even let, you know, if I'm doing a reading, I let the person know. I might just start crying uh, because the energy of Jesus is so immense. It just literally just makes you cry. Um <clears throat> Oh, we got two Jacqueline's. Oh my gosh, you guys are just cracking me up. Okay, so I'm just trying to figure out who's next here. Sorry, guys. You're welcome, Gerald Ann. Lots and lots of rest and self-love and self-care. Okay, so whomever is next, Gwen, go ahead. <clears throat> yeah, um... Even when I'm, um, any message, okay, for Jacqueline. He wants you to know that your job will come to an end. It's a means to an end. Keep persistent on this path of channeling. Do not give up, no matter what. He's asking me, to work with you during one um, one uh, um, channel session as well, just so you can see the difference between um, everyone uh, teaching styles. Um, although he's not trying to step on anyone's feet, he's saying uh, just to see um, the difference. So just one time with Kristen, okay, okay, cool. But do not give up on this path because you are greatly needed. You're greatly needed as a medium and a channeler. And it's gonna be so rewarding. And you've got a lot of love and support here in this group, he says, don't you? So don't give up. Okay. Okay, so who is next on the list? Wow, I have somebody talking into my right ear. Just give me a second. Holy. So it's energy pulsating into my right ear, uh, stimulating my eardrum. And so I'm just um, got to quiet my mind to see who this is. It's Jacqueline's uh, guardian angel. I love you. I love you. I love you. Keep shining brightly no matter what. Don't let them get you down. Don't let them snuff out your light. And know that I walk alongside of you every single day. And I know how tough this is for you to continue going to work every single day in this environment. Do not give up on this path. For this is the path ahead of you. A rewarding, love-filled, joyous path. One in which is worthy of you right now this path this work environment is not worthy of you as the light being uh, as a high vibrational uh, light filled being that you are you just keep shining brightly no matter what keep to yourself but shine brightly no matter what thank you Whew. wow Okay, it's moving down. 
Okay, so go ahead uh, with who is next. Jenny, Jenny, you're next. If you'd like to be put on the uh, list, type me, please. And um, I'm going to try and do my best to uh, have enough energy to get to you. So go ahead, Jenny. Isn't that amazing, Jacqueline? Boom, 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 right in my ear. She's awesome. You got to, I mean, let's be honest, all of your angels are awesome. You guys can't even imagine how much your angels love you. There aren't any words to describe how much they love you. Um, when they open up and pass through your body or come in contact with you close up and they open up, my goodness, you guys, you can't even imagine. Ask them to show you how much they love you. Ask them for help because they can work in ways you can't even imagine. And they're just light-filled, omnipresent beings of light and love that can work behind the scene of your life to make magic happen. Yeah, I know that that sounds foo-foo, magic. But uh, I'll, I tell you, if it wasn't for the angels, I don't know where I'd be. Uh, you know, they've always just been here for me. They've always helped me through everything. And I can't imagine a day without conversing with them. And irregardless of if you can hear them or not, they can hear you. So ask them for help with everything. Make it your mission, your purpose in life. You're in your mind or you're out loud and you're talking to them all the time. They can hear every word, every thought, everything you say. And that was a tough pill for me to swallow at first. I was like, oh my goodness, they can hear everything I'm thinking. I don't know if I like that. Okay, so we have Jenny and then Barbara. Go ahead. What is your... You know, the reason why I say a specific question is because if you're like, yeah, whatever, you know, I'm open for a message, which is okay. Well, the message will come through. But if you're specific with a specific question, you will, the energy will realign. It's your intention. So if you set the intention to have a specific question, you will get a specific answer. And then, of course, if you just want to have... Um, Yo, I bet Eric's on your couch right now, Sasha. I guarantee he's there. I hear him laughing right now. So I think he is. Okay, so uh, we're just moving along to Barbara then because I don't see uh, the other question there. So Barbara, if you can just type your question. And then if that doesn't uh, line up, Barbara, uh, go ahead and uh, type uh, the next person there, Gwen. Who's after Barbara? Um, here in I am on his couch. He's hanging out with you. Um, he's like, not in a creepy, weird way. I'm just hanging out with you, man. <laughs> Caitlin, what's your question? Oh, here's uh, Barbara. Okay, so Barbara is, what is my responsibility for sharing the message? Um, Eric, actually, no, this is Jesus. Because uh, Eric's still hanging out with Sasha. So <laughs> uh, he's kind of like just hanging out with you for right now. Uh, Jesus is saying your responsibility, like so many here today, is to shine brightly. What does that mean? Being a bright light here upon the earth plane. What does that mean? How do you do that? By being a light-filled, high-vibrational being of light and love. So you... Uh, choose more high vibrational thinking and thoughts. You can hand low vibrational thoughts off to your angels. I highly recommend doing this at least 20 times a day for two weeks if you haven't done this yet. Hand off low vibrational thinking to your angels 20 times a day. Watch your mind get freed up. Uh, thoughts are energy and your angels will take those thoughts and transmute them into the light so they don't return. And then all of a sudden you're like, whoa, your mind is way more positive and clear. It's wonderful. Um, uh, eating healthful foods, not putting low vibrational. If you could please not put low vibrational toxins in your bodies. He knows that that's difficult for many to hear, but this is really important right now, especially with this light anchoring here upon the earth plane. This light and love. Um, he's also saying, you know, um, you may need to 
hang out with more of your high vibrational friends rather than the ones that are no longer a match. So if you're going to raise in vibration, you may, your friends are not, some of your friends are just not going to be ready to come with you on this journey and that's okay. Um, and so friends and family, yeah, friends and family. So what is your mission, your purpose? Shining brightly for all to see. Right now, that's your purpose, your mission. But as you move forward, everything will start to unfold one step in front of the other, easily and effortlessly, Barbara. And if you would like, Jesus will see to it personally that it does and help you, help you one-on-one. -on -one. And all you have to say is yes, please. Thank you, Kristen. Okay, I think we have Caitlin who's next. Um, yeah, so if you guys are wondering who Eric is, it's Eric with a K and he channels through mediums and his mom interviews uh, mediums on the YouTube channel called Channeling Eric. Um, what do I have to say about that? I mean, like, uh, Eric's mom didn't even believe in the afterlife whatsoever. She, she was like, mm, you know, didn't believe at all. And, uh, Eric came through and, uh, got her attention. And now she, now she's forced to believe because she can't ignore the uh, messages and signs that Eric has, Eric has given. Eric's hilarious. He's just super fun to channel. Uh, Caitlin's question is, what did I come here to, what did I come here to earth to learn and how am I doing so far? Love you, JC and Eric. <laughs> Jesus is sending you his love. So is Eric. But Eric's still hanging out with Sasha. <laughs> That's so funny. He's hanging out on your your couch. Yeah. Um, but he's still here too. Don't worry, he hasn't left. Um, Jesus wants you to know that you're on the right path. Your purpose is great. Similar or like this one. And it's divine timing. You're getting ready to step up and step off in this direction. But first, it's you time. Mm -hmm. He's calling this me time. Self-love, self-care. Yeah, he's even saying self-respect. Not saying that you don't have that, just that that will be your main focus. Um... Yeah, your angel seconding that. <laughs> um, so self-love and self-care right now. Uh, this path will unfold before you, and Jesus will see to it personally. Mark my words. Mark my words. Uh, Jesus is showing again him walking this path alongside of you, holding your hand. And you will go forth together. Okay, so we have Jacqueline again. The next Jacqueline. Oh, he likes your dinner, Sasha? Oh yeah, I bet he does. Can you imagine? He's probably like checking it out, wishing he could eat it. Ah! He's pretending like he's eating your dinner. He's like, mm, 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 so good. <laughs> oh my God, he's so funny. Okay, Jacqueline. Uh, love you, Jesus and Eric, too. Oh, sorry. My, pardon me. I interrupted Eric. Uh, Eric is giving Sasha a fist bump and says he wants you to know he'll be coming to visit you um, um, uh, more often. Not in a creepy, weird way, though, okay, man? Not in a creepy, weird way. <laughs> oh, I can't keep up. Okay, so Jacqueline's question. <laughs> You're so funny. Uh, uh, he says, I know. Um, Jacqueline saying, love you, Jesus and Eric, too. What do I need to know, please? And thank you. Okay. Okay, so Jesus is taking this one and Eric's stepping aside here. What do you need to know? Um, uh, Jesus is saying that you are a being of light and love that chose to come forth here upon the earth plane in order to ascend. Anchor the light in order to help those who will begin awakening. There is a mass awakening uh, upon the planet that is going to be transpiring uh, within the next five months. 
slowly happening and then fully happening um, as of July, August. Yeah, August. So August onward, um, this mass awakening occurring on the planet will begin at a billion people. It's going to start with the children and then their parents will also be impacted by this light uh, and they will be again awakening. And then um, years uh, along down the road uh, will be another billion. Um, I asked Jesus the other day, how many people are going to be awakening on the planet um, in total by the time I leave this gong show of a life and um, he told me 2.6 2.6 million approximately roughly so that's a lot of people awakening Eric's like gong show <laughs> like this um, this seeming experience is what I'm saying just like a course in miracles just like the disappearance of the universe if you guys haven't read those two books personally i like the disappearance of the universe because i can read it and get it understand it so um a course in miracles is something that you work on for the rest of your life and it's detailed and uh people always post those memes on uh, or pictures on uh, facebook uh, or uh, other places like i'm working on a course in miracles and the whole book is like highlighted with a highlighter <laughs> You're highlighting every square inch of it. But it is, uh, it's a course material. That's what Jesus says. It's, that's why it's called a course in miracles. Um, whereas the disappearance of the universe was uh, brought to Gary Renard, who developed this book in order to share in a different way, a more easy to understand way. And that was me. I loved it because it was easier to understand. Okay, here we go. Where are we? Wonderful. Awesome, Barbara. He's heard you. Um, he's letting me know that you may be sensing, uh, feeling his pre presence with you uh, more often now as he begins uh, working with you. And this is going to be very high vibrational and light filled and loving. It will be a high vibrational loving love filled uh, path ahead with you and him. How wonderful. Yeah, that's awesome. Tracy and then Tanya. Tracy and Tanya, let's go. Ready. Uh, Eric's just talking about 2021 again. Mm -hmm. uh, Eric has coined this uh, this time, this era, this whatever you want to call it, 2021, as the golden age. It is the golden age. Brought to you by my big bro JC and his team of angels. <laughs> ah, oh my God, Tracy, here we go. I already got the abundance book. I'm on it. What should I be doing for income, for money? To make money or any message. I love it. <clears throat> the Abundance Book. That's it. The Abundance Book. Do it. Work from it. That's your main focus. That's your only focus. He says you can keep doing what you've been doing with the CBD oil. If you so choose. That is your free will choosing and choice. However, there is much more yet to come. So for, don't worry about how it's going to unfold or what's coming. Just know that it is coming. And focus on the abundance book. Don't miss a day. Yeah, tell the peeps, Kristen, if you miss a day on that abundance book, go right back to the beginning. I did that 20 days in. What a bummer that was. So let me tell you. Um, so <clears throat> you do the abundance book for 40 days, okay? And you don't miss a day. So that's the abundance book. That's it, Tracy. That's it. It's giving you fist bump. So, okay, so I'm ready for the next question. And, um, um, okay, Tanya and then Carrie. Awesome. So, <laughs> Fabiana, woo! 
Okay, all right. Um, okay, so Tanya would like to know any message about um, her daughter's health, please. Um, I'm hearing your daughter will be all right. Um, this is a part of her uh, life's path in which her soul chose before coming forth here in order to learn and grow from. Uh, Eric just wants to remind you that coming here to Earth uh, in this uh, dense vibrational environment is not uh, cupcakes and roses. It's not for the faint of hearted heart. It's not for the faint of heart. And um, he loves you. He loves you and your daughter. Mm -hmm. He says that um, they're working on it behind the scene of your life in regards to her health. But also they want to let you know that this is part of her her journey, her path, in order to learn and grow from. But they can make things easier. They hear your prayers, and they hear you talking with them, and they're on it. And that's all you need to know at this time. Okay. I'm sending you my love too. And so is Jesus. He says, keep speaking with me, Tanya. Keep speaking with me. Yeah. He hears you. All right. Carrie. Carrie, you are the next person in the line here. So we have Carrie's question. Consider, considering shamanic Reiki this summer, already a third degree traditional should I add to it with shamanic Reiki too been talking to Jesus so much lately want light language okay okay so you know some of us just have light language we just it's just easy to flow out of us I'm not saying me I'm saying us as in everybody on the planet it's just easy to do almost like you're born with it or something and I know that um, it's just something that flows uh, from an energetic space or place or and or um, you know your higher self just channeling it through um, Jesus is just saying that this isn't going to be occurring with you um, so <clears throat> best to be just uh, honest there he says you can continue to learn and and um, focus on that path and and enjoy that path of learning and, and uh, learning about light language. However, um, this is not your path. This is not going to be upon set upon your path. Um, he's also saying uh, in regards to uh, shamanic Reiki this summer, he's giving a thumbs up. He likes this. Go forth on this path, dear one. Go forth on this path, dear one. Thank you. He really likes that you are talking with him. He hears you. Keep asking for help with anything and everything you so wish, wish for and desire. Thank you, Kristen. Okay. Love you, Jacqueline. Well, that's a new one. Fabissima. <laughs> Fabulicious. <laughs> I love it. Okay. My Sasa boy. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. Ow, my elbow. <laughs> um, so we're looking for Lorraine if you want to type your question there. Everybody's got these cute nicknames for each other. Out of love, just having fun. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I think it's awesome. Um, okay, so Lorraine's question is next. Okay, we're going to do two more people after Lorraine, and then this one needs to power down. This one meaning me. 
Um, okay, we're waiting for Lorraine. I love Jesus very much. I cleanse my house and I ask Jesus to live with me. I speak with him daily. And since that time, I actually do feel so much better. I lost my dog to drowning, which was awful, but I asked for Jesus to help me and I can feel the difference in my soul. He is, he is working with you uh, through your soul, yeah. He's going to be bringing uh, more and more eternal peace and love, light and love. And he's going to be just pooling that within your body, within your soul. Eric's piping in now and saying, and who doesn't want to have eternal peace and light and love, peeps? Who wouldn't want to have that? He says, that's why I work with Jesus. And he's my big bro here on the other side. He, he, Eric's saying, it's wonderful just to work with Jesus over here, let alone, you know, he, he's just saying it's just, it's, it's, there aren't any words to describe how great it is. Okay, Linda, any message for me about the future? Uh, Eric's just like showing me, you, you're just going to be trucking on this path. You're just going to keep going on this path. One foot in front of the other. One foot in front of the other. You are doing a great act of light and love and service for another. Your mother. And um, they all see that in spirit. And they greatly appreciate this act of light and love that you are giving her, um, offering for her, being there with her. And um, in the future, there will come a time when you will need to discern what is uh, best for your mother, as in further care. And Eric is saying that this time is a bit further down the road but it's almost around the corner so around the corner means right away to me so eric's saying it's just a bit down the road and but it's coming it's coming um and if you would like help during this time in discerning uh wh what is best in that moment and, and knowing that this is the path that's next, i.e. a care home, uh, Eric would like to help you with that, if you would like. He'd also like to help you uh, with the care of your mother, just helping to give you some uh, relief, uh, carrying some of the weight that you're carrying on your shoulders. Eric would like to do that for you as well. Okay, so Suzanne, you are next. Uh, Archangel Michael, are you asking about Archangel Michael or just a Michael? Okay, so we have, um, here we go. So we've got Suzanne next and, um, and then we're gonna do the last person, Gwen, and then that will be it for today. Um, she means me. Yeah, I hear her. Thank you, Kristen. That was Archangel Michael. Now, you see, he sends that to me in a consciousness or thought waveform. I don't know how else to describe it. It hits me right here in the head. It's really loud, very direct, and um, he says it like that, so I try to copy how he's saying it to me. He's laughing. He says, are you going to tell them that I'm doing this now? And he's like dancing. He's dancing. He's kicking up his heels. Oh, he wants to do a plug for himself. He says, if anyone would like me to, me as an Archangel Michael, to come and move into their home, um, I would love to do that for each of you. Um, if you are so willing, 
you just say, yes, Archangel Michael, please come move into my home. Why do I ask this? Because I can help shelter each of you within your homes, shield the outside world energy, others energy, and keep your home a more high vibrational uh, place to reside. It will be much more enjoyable for you. And um, anyone who comes into your home, if they have any low vibrational attachments or energy influencing them in any way, that energy will not be allowed in your home. I will also vacuum and cut any cords between you or any others within your home and vacuuming your home in general, he's saying. He's also showing your pets, your children, everyone in the home. Also, when you leave your home, he will walk everywhere with you, helping to shield you everywhere you go. I say working with Jesus is the best thing that I ever chose. And the second thing I, the, the best thing I ever chose, uh, when Archangel Michael asked me to move into his home, in, uh, when he asked me to move into my home, I said, what, why? He said, well, you talk to me all the time anyways. And I said, that's true. And then he explained why. And that was awesome. Awesome. Asking him to move into your home. Oh my God. You will feel like an absolute energetic relief. And it's like you go out in the world and then, you know, you go around other people and such. But then when you come home, it's like oh, my, my high vibrational bubble. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, he does. You know what he does when Gwen's about to go on a run? He like gets his like sweatband on and his sweatband cuffs and his little short shorts and he he's he's uh, and he's uh, stretching and stretching out his quads and he's getting all ready to like go for a run with Gwen is absolutely hilarious who is that guy who used to do uh oh what was his name you know with the like fuzzy hair and he had his sweatband on and he would do the the exercise classes Oh, I can't remember his name. He's trying to emulate that to make Gwen laugh. Oh my God, it's so funny. Okay, so we've got the, uh, who do we have next now? I'm, I'm, I'm talking away to Archangel Michael and I'm running out of, I'm like, eh. mm. he's giving you a fist bump, Parker. And he says that he loves you eternally. He's always there and he has your back. Don't give up. Okay. Richard Simmons, thank you. He acts, he tries to act like Richard Simmons to make me and Gwen laugh. It's hilarious. Okay, Suzanne, you're next. Yes. Okay, Annika, and then we'll go with Suzanne. Um, are all my symptoms ascension related? If so, will they ease up soon? Or is there some other health issue I should pay attention to? I'm concerned about my weight loss and inability to gain weight. Okay. Ascension related. Push through it. The time is near where it will ease off and become easier for you. Keep speaking with us and asking us to help you. You are all right, health-wise. Thank you, Kristen. Yeah. So I want to say something to you, Annika, because the last two days, as uh, the energy ramps up, I have a hard time getting food in me. It's like I'm hungry, and then I'll eat a small portion, and then I'm full. I don't want to eat anymore. I can't like eat heavy foods because vibrationally it's too much for me so I'm like a little rabbit eating salads and I was looking down at my tummy today and thinking wow my tummy is really flattened out here too um, so I'm losing a little bit of weight too um, but it's an ebb and flow right so as soon as the energy eases off and you feel like you can eat some more eat because then the time will come where you're like okay we're doing uh, liquid protein shakes and salads because it's light lighter and easier for me to go ahead and eat. There is nothing wrong with you health-wise. Thank you, Kristen. Okay, so we're going with the last question from Suzanne. Did I say that right? Okay, let's do it, Suzanne. Finally, you're getting in. 
the last person can you believe you made it that's that's a awesome too isn't it okay Suzanne I'm ready whenever you are um Annika Jesus is just saying that you're gonna make it through this the reason why you're getting it so intensely because all of your upper chakras are almost open um, as soon as you begin channeling the head pressure the migraines will ease off the channeling is needed okay yeah in those moments where you can eat eat a lot and then you're gonna go back to <laughs> watery protein shakes and salads and I do like yam fries I have these organic like really wonderful yam fries that's like a special treat I also do like rice crackers um, um, okay 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 so Suzanne we're waiting for you to type your question Rena I'll take you as well go ahead and type your question whoever gets in first is who I'm answering and then we'll try to answer both of you and then we'll come to a close um, okay yeah I'm calling last one because I gotta watch my energy um, you know when you're channeling high vibrational beings of light and love um, you can drain your battery pretty quick well I mean heck look at how far I've come that's pretty impressive um, pretty amazing let me tell you when I was channeling Gaia Mother Earth on my YouTube channel if you guys haven't checked me out on YouTube under Kristen Davies Wow was I drained after an hour and 20 minutes she filled my entire apartment why does the bagels want to okay I don't understand that question <laughs> Why does the bagels want me Ron Ron? I don't understand what that means. I don't even understand what that means there. Oh, okay. What does the want to know about? I, I'm not understand that question. If you could retype it. <laughs> okay. So Suzanne, we're going to go with you and then Rena, if you could retype that. Uh, my long distance relationship with a man. We feel deep connection we have not had physical connection yet okay so what is your question okay okay got it so uh, Suzanne what is your specific question about this uh, uh, person in your life that uh, you have a deep connection with that is a uh, so so what is your specific question all right so Rena what is your angels uh, what do your angels okay let's just let your angels talk shall we your angels are here but I don't believe Jesus is going to um, they're not going to talk yet first it's going to be Jesus and then your angels and you should see your angels they're just they're watching Jesus intently and they're sitting quietly off to the side because the angels they love Jesus let me tell you when I see the angels these high vibrational beings of light and love how they respond to Jesus that just shows me how uh, amazing the soul of Jesus is the being of light and love that was housed in Jesus in one lifetime okay here we go so Jesus here we go um, sorry Suzanne um, if you just hold off two seconds here I'm gonna channel here and then I'm gonna come to your specific question okay hello dear one many blessings of light and love to you many blessings of light and love to you you know I have my eye on you he's just smiling warmly keep talking to me please now I will hand it off to your angels. Boy, your angels are like really watching Jesus. Like, okay, it's our turn. Like, all right. And now they're coming in. They're laughing. They're like, ha ha. They're getting ready. They're cracking their hands. Like, woohoo, this is our time. All right. Messing, many, many blessings, dear one. 
This is our time to shine. All right. Okay. We hear every word that you think and every word that you speak out loud and every word that you write down. So what we would like to ask from you in this short brief time that we have in order to relay our message through Kristen's mind is please, please write down a list on a piece of paper with everything in your life that you would like help with. This goes for all of you, each of you. Write down a list so that each of your team of angels can read this list and get to work because your angels are kind of twiddling their thumbs over there. Like they kind of like want to do more for you than what they are being asked to do or um, because this is a free will zone here on earth. So your angels are asking you to write this all down on a piece of paper and then they'll get busy and get to work. You keep this piece of paper and you come to it every two weeks and you look at what's come in, you can cross it off, what's come in or check it off, and then you keep adding to the list because in every two weeks you'll want something new and different. That is what we would like for you to do in this brief moment in which we have to communicate with you through Kristen's mind. Thank you. Many blessings to you. We love you eternally. Eternally, we are here with you always. And they're just sending their love to you through me. And now they're stepping back. Okay, Suzanne, I'm ready. Sorry, I'm just coming back. See if you typed anything. Okay. Okay. So I got that you've got this happening, Suzanne. What is your specific question about this relationship with this partner? It was <laughs> for me too. You can see like it is amazing. Yeah, totally agree. You write that list on a piece of paper, but during the day, if you need help with whatever is going on in your life, say you're having an issue with another person or you've you've got, you know, some kind of an issue or problem happening in your life, bring them in to help resolve it. They will make they will move mountains. Okay. Okay, so unless there's another question from Suzanne there or uh, we're, we're just going to be heading off here. Um, and, um, you know, thank you, Gwen, for helping me. Really, truly, I don't know what I'd do without you. Honestly, I send you my love. Um, let's just send Gwen a lot of love. Because um, what she does here, it, it's, it's, it might seem easy, but you know what I'm saying? It's not. Okay, so, okay, so um, I will talk with each of you later. And um, we, me and Gwen are going to come together for the next event um, this upcoming Friday, which is how do you know when your angels and your spirit guides are trying to talk with you and communicate with you. It's, t it's uh, you know, all four clairs. So they're trying to talk to you. You might feel the presence. Um, um, you might see certain things. They might give certain signs. Like how are they trying to talk with you? What are the signs? So many loved, much love to you. I love you. And I will see you again soon. Everybody's waving. Everybody's waving, sending their love to you, sending their love to you. Bye.